Hello, in this Steam Deck tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Yuzu Switch Emulator. So that's the second set of video for a Switch Emulator I had Ryujinx for. Got Yuzu now, still Ryujinx has not been taken down. Good stuff. I'm going to have gameplay videos coming very, very soon. Just tweaking settings, just trying to get the best performance I can out of the games when I show you so you know you can get the best performance yourself as well okay so let's get into it it's you know really simple to do just want to say this video does not condone piracy i legally you know i have a console i'm free switch consoles two oleds and a regular no need to go into that but and uh, you know i have the game that i'll be testing which is super mario odyssey recommend that you go to the yuzu compatibility list check if your game is compatible and the compatibility click on it and it'll tell you if there's any sort of tweaks that you have to do maybe you need to be in docked or undocked mode again i will cover that in a second uh, i'll provide a link there in the description okay so this video is not condone, condoning piracy it is for educational purposes and this video will not be blurred out or anything like you know the linus tech tips video that was recently re you know released i was excited for that but then they basically sold out and didn't really show or do much on it anyway okay ignoring that so first of all what you want to do is go to desktop mode press the steam button and just scroll all the way down, go to power. You can use the touch screen, doesn't really matter. I'm using the controls. Go to switch to desktop mode. And I usually let desktop mode you know load for a few seconds because you can use the right trackpad to control the mouse and but it takes a few seconds to click you know kick in. If this is the first time you are in desktop mode and you are using the Yuzu just gamepad controls, which I am, you can plug in like a, you can connect like a wireless, maybe even with a USB-C connector, I guess you could, a keyboard and mouse, be easier, but you don't need to, it's not a requirement. So, just how to use desktop mode. You can use the touchscreen, that's fine, because it's obviously it's like a regular desktop interface. I recommend that you use the right analog stick to move your mouse, and if you click in, if I do that, it clicking on the right trackpad is a left click on the mouse, and a right, I mean, a click on the left trackpad is a right click, so it is flipped. That may get a bit confusing. Okay, so first of all, you want to download Yuzu, and I recommend just getting it from the Discover Store because I found it works fine on there, and I opt for Discover Store if I can because you'll get updates through there. So just go to Discover Store here, and if it's not there, go to your launcher. And in all applications, and you'll be in the D section. Mine's right here, though. So just launch that up, and you want to go to search. If I click that, the keyboard does not pop up. So press Steam and the X button. So Steam X, then the keyboard pops up, and just type in Yuzu. Again, you can use the keypad or you can use the touchscreen. Or opt for touchscreen this time. Yuzu sounds like Yazoo. And that's literally not what we want at all. I don't know what the hell's up up there. Um, let me search for it again. Very strange why well, it's not peering up. Never had this issue before. Let me just shut that down. Launch Discover back up. Go to search. And search for Yuzu. Yuzu. There we go. Don't know what was appearing before. And well, that was, but Yuzu wasn't. And what you have is an install button like this here. You just click it. Let it install. Do not close the Discover Store down whilst installing. Once it's successfully installed and it says removed, you can close the Discover Store down. And now what you need to do is you need the prod doc keys and the title doc keys. I've got them in the download folder as well, right here. Okay, so these I cannot distribute via links on YouTube for legal purposes. So you will need to, you know, you can Google it. If you Google it, trust me, you, you can get hold of them. It's not difficult. And again, this video is for legal pur for educational purposes, not condoning piracy. Or you can dump your own keys. Feel free to Google that and check that out as well. If you've already got the keys, fantastic. And you just want to know how to set it up on Switch. 
feel free to join the Discord group. We can help you out there as well. But again, I can't, I'm not directly linking any keys in the description. Okay, so what you wanna do is actually open up Yuzu. And before we do, I'm gonna delete these keys. because These are keys I've already copied. And the reason for that is, you get an error if you don't have these keys. And I want you to see that error so you know what the error is for. And go to games, scroll all the way down, go to Yuzu. Okay, so you'll get this encryption keys are missing. That's fine, that's what we want. Click OK. And you wanna go to File, open user folder. Let me select again, File, open user folder. Hmm, strange way it's not opening it. File. Okay, so it doesn't open, it should do. It opens it usually fine for me. So all you wanna do is go to home and make sure in the, you click this and you've got show hidden files. You go to .var. Again, this, you shouldn't have this issue. I didn't have it when I was setting it up. Go to app and you find the user folder. You go to config, user, custom. Uh, nope, that's not the one, my bad. Data, you do, okay, and here we go. In here, you wanna create a folder called keys. It might automatically be created, which it was for me. If it isn't, you just right click anywhere, go to create new, click create folder, click folder, and then just, you know, press Steam and X to, you know, name it keys. Once you've done that, you wanna copy over your prod and title.keys into here. To do that, you go to downloads, select these, right click, Copy and paste them here. And now if I was to close user down and reopen it now, what we should hopefully get is no error. No error now. And uh, Super Mario Odyssey has appeared as well. So the title keys are used to you know detect games, etc. Okay, so my games and if I what you would usually get is just a little big fold icon like this one and you can double click it and you can choose where your ROMs are. My ROMs, you can get them in NSP, XCO format, you know, some sort of format like that. Again, you can get those games even by dumping. For Google, you'll be able to find the games to download. Again, not condoning piracy, not saying they should do that, but there are ways to get them. Okay, so all you would do, let's say if you were to double click, you would this would appear, you go to... I've got it on an external drive, in ROMs, Switch, and you want to actually select the folder that says, you know, or set the folder where your ROMs are, and click open, and then your ROMs will appear. Nothing's changed because I'd already set this up. Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to do this in desktop mode, so it's easier. Before you launch the game up, go to emulation, configure, and most things, just leave as is. And make sure in system you select the correct region and what I recommend is maximizing this so if you just sort of drag down and click the up arrow much better and yeah just make sure you got the correct you know time you can do a custom time it should automatically get the correct time and in graphics make sure the API is set to Vulkan make sure the device is set to AMD Rad V apart from that you can leave everything else as is default etc you don't need to mess around with any of that stuff and in controls this is what you want to do so make sure you select pro controller that's the sort of nearest comparison to what you've got built in on your steam deck and if you want to let's say use an external controller like a ps4 controller ps5 xbox still use pro controller if you're using joy con feel free to connect them and you know what i might create videos and actually connect the joy con up to the steam deck to, to play Switch games, I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'll look at that as well. And then in here, by default, you probably have like keyboard selected. Make sure Steam Virtual Gamepad is selected or like the PlayStation controller or Xbox if you've got them connected. The way to know that it's working, if I move, let's say my left analog stick, this analog stick here should start moving. And that's it. Um, I mean, you can press any key. So if I was to press, you know, LB or R1, whatever you want to call it, it triggers it, that's it. And again, to make this 
full screen so you can actually probably see everything you just do that and uh, you can change the solar sensitivity if you want as well and the dead zone stuff but i'm gonna leave as is console mode you can change that out of here as well you can change it literally here docked and undocked and have a look at i know super mario odyssey it works better when it's docked mode and okay so what you want to do now uh, and that's it we can actually you can even double click the game from here and play it in desktop mode let me show you how to add the yuzu to your regular steam interface to do that you go to the steam icon click library and in here go to add a game add a non-steam game scroll all the way down because it's beginning with a y and Okay, it's not appearing for me because I've already got it selected. So if I was to remove it, just so you see what will happen. That's <laughs> pretty much all at the bottom. So again, this is just this is just me doing my thing. I'm just going to remove this. Manage. Uh, remove it. That's removed. So if I go to add game, add a non-steam game, and if I go to the bottom now, as you can see, it's appeared. You select the checkbox, add selected program. And that's it. If you was to, for some reason, install it not via the Discover Store, maybe you have issues with that, then just install it from directly from the website. To find the file, you have to go to Browse, go to where it is, and select the Executable. Okay, and that's it. And now if I was to close this down, and you just should literally return to gaming mode. You can actually still launch the games from desktop mode as well if you want to. And I find sometimes... I can get I, I get bugs where some of the textures don't fully load, or there's some some errors and like crashes more so with like the Steam side of things. I get I'm gonna experiment and look more into it, and I'm gonna look into EMU Deck as well. But you can try them both. And to access it, I've got it right there. But by default, you won't. You want to click Steam, go to Library. You want to go to Non Steam, and just find Yuzu. Go to Play. Boom. You can't use the right trackpad to control mouse yet. You have to use your finger. So it's it's not the most intuitive. Hence why I recommend doing the settings beforehand. And so yeah, so like down here, you can choose docked and handheld, for example. Docked is what you want. Set GPU to high or normal. And you can change the sort of, you know, nearest bilinear, the type of filtering. By cubic Gaussian, scale force and FSR. I'll leave it at by, I mean, nearest. And you can do no anti-aliasing or FX anti-aliasing. Okay, so let's launch the game. You just double click it with your finger. I find if it doesn't launch, then it hasn't detected the double click. It can be a bit fidgety to do it. There you go, loading shaders. Might take a bit longer the first time that you're doing it. because It's actually creating the shaders. And that's it. You know, you've got user set up. I mean, the game's launching now. You'll hear it in a moment when we get to the menu. So I've already started the game. We'll be able to just go into the game as well. Yeah, it's just doing the how to safely use the controller. This is all from after when people were smashing in their remotes into their TVs during the Nintendo Wii era. So funny because that was the era when people started getting, you know, done like Super the, Mario ooh. Odyssey! When they started getting flash screen TVs, you know, LCDs, plasmas, that sort of stuff. Just before LED. And yeah, if you free your Wii remote at an OCRT, the remote will crack. But with the flood, like LCD, boom, inside the screen. That's it. As you can see, the game is not working. Depending on the game, your mileage will vary. Again, I will continue testing and I will experiment to get the best performance on the game. And that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, comment down below. 
in the description I'll have links to everything that you will need so feel free to check that out I'm gonna I've got Steam compatibility list going where I've got games from PlayStation 2 free or beyond there PC games um, I'm, I'm gonna have switch games for the different emulators as well so you can actually see that uh, once I've tested some more games uh, and that's it um, I, I hope you enjoyed the video this video does not condone piracy make sure you buy buy your games obviously and I'll see you soon Bye-bye.